Trying to get your small business to rank on Google search or maps without doing any keyword research is like trying to catch smoke with your bare hands. You gotta know what your audience is searching for so you can create matching content on your website and Google business profile that shows up in search results and fits what they're looking for. And the way to do that is by doing keyword research. But when I searched how to do keyword research on Google, I got hit with a whopping 440 million results, which can be very daunting if you're a newbie and don't know where to start. But don't worry, I've got you covered because today I'm gonna to show you the fastest, simplest, and most efficient method you can use to do keyword research using free tools so you won't have to spend a penny. Let's start by checking out this awesome tool that is ignored by most business owners. It's right there in your Google business profile. So log into the Google account linked with your business profile and head over to the search interface. You will see a performance icon, click on it. A pop-up window will appear, which by default will show you how your listing has been performing over the past six months. Scroll down until you see the searches breakdown section. This section breaks down all the keywords your listing is ranking for and how often it pops up in search results. Click on see more to view the whole list. Now it's time to dig through the list and find some potential keyword opportunities that you can use for your website or your Google business profile. Let me give you an example. One of my clients is an electrician and I noticed that people are searching for electrician same day services, but he doesn't have that service listed on his website. So it would probably be a good idea to create a page for it. You can also use these keywords to create more content for your Google business profile like posts and FAQs. Although it won't boost your listings rankings, it will definitely match what the visitors are searching for and they'll be happy to see that you're providing exactly what they need. Unfortunately, Google doesn't give you the option to download the full list of keywords, but when there's a will, there's a way. Here's a cool trick from Darren Shaw at Whitespark that you can use to start building your list of keywords and refer to it later on. First, install a Chrome extension called Table Capture on your browser. Then head over to your keyword breakdown list. Highlight one of the keywords from the list, then right click. From the drop down menu, select the Table Capture option. This will trigger a pop up and highlight the keyword you've selected. From the pop up, click on Select Parent Element. This will select the entire table where all the keywords are included. With just one click, you can export it to a Google Sheet. Just click OK when you see the prompt, then right click in a document and paste. Pretty neat, right? Okay, let's stick with your Google My Business listing for now, but this time click on the Edit Service icon. Not everyone will have this option available, but for those of you who do, a window will open up displaying the services you offer. If you haven't checked your listing in a while, you might notice a super long list of services that you didn't add yourself and wonder where they came from. Google can actually automatically populate this section based on other information they found on the web, like your website. While some of these services may not be relevant to you since Google doesn't always get it right, you can use the others as inspiration to create more content on your website that you didn't think about before. While you're at it, you can also tidy up the list by clicking on edit and reviewing all the services that have been added to your profile. Just untick the ones you don't want. Here's a pro tip. For certain industries, Google will suggest some predefined services based on your business category. Find out if this is the case for you by clicking on the add more services option. Add the ones you feel are relevant to your business and create matching content pages on your website. Let's take this to the next level and peek at your competitors list of services to discover even more keyword ideas. Here is how you do it. Download an extension called GMB Everywhere. I'll leave the link for you in the description below. Once it's downloaded, head over to Google Maps and search for a keyword related to your industry, like removal company, for example. Google will overlay some options on each listing, including one called Basic Audit. Click on this button to run a basic audit for one of the listings. This will bring up the full details of the listing. Under the GMB Details section, you'll see a link called Services. Just click on it. On the next screen, click on the listing itself and then on the Service tab. This will show you all the services your competitor is associated with and some of them may apply to you too. To download the full list, use the table capture extension and add this list to the keyword list from your Google business profile. See how your keyword list is nicely building up. Time to move on to our next tool, Google Keyword Planner. Google Keyword Planner is a valuable tool for conducting keyword research, especially if your Google business profile is new and not showing many of the keywords 
your listing is ranking for. Although the tool is free, you will need to create a Google Ads account, which requires you to provide credit card details. However, you won't be charged any money. Once you've created an account, click on the Tools and Settings option in the top navigation bar. From there, select Keyword Planner to open up the tool. Choose Discover New Keywords and enter up to 10 products or services related to your business in the search box. Since you're a small business, you'll want to narrow down your search to find out what people are searching for in your area. Let's say your business operates in Modesto, California. Under the keyword input box, click on location and enter Modesto in the search box. That way, you'll only see results for Modesto and Google will even give you the estimated population of the area. Once you've added your location, click on save and then get results. Google will show you the average monthly searches for the keywords you've provided, plus the level of competition and more. But Google will also suggest further keyword ideas based on your initial selection. Download the full list and review it carefully. Go after the ones with the higher search volume and the lowest competition. But don't forget to use some common sense too. For example, if you're an electrician, electrician near me might be a highly competitive keyword, but it's still important to target it. The next tool we're going to look at is, in my opinion, one of the best SEO tools out there. But for some reason, a lot of business owners don't realize just how valuable it is. And get this, it's totally free. I'm talking about Google Search Console. With this tool, you can see how your site is performing in search results, spot any issues with specific pages, check out which links are pointing to your site, and much more. And when it comes to doing some seriously awesome keyword research, it's an absolute powerhouse. You'll need to install it on your website first, so if you haven't installed it yet, do it as soon as possible. For those of you who have, here is how you can do some quick keyword research. From the left-hand side menu, click on Search Results. You'll see a bunch of data like the number of times users clicked through to your site from Google search results, how many times a user saw a link to your site in search results, also known as impressions, your site's average click-through rate, and your average position in search results. Scroll down a bit and you'll see even more detailed info broken down by queries, which are just the keywords your site is ranking for, pages, countries, etc. Make sure the Query tab is selected, then click on both the Average Click-Through Rate and Average Position tab. Choose a decent date range, like a year, and click on Apply, and click the Export button. And just like that, you'll have a list of keywords that people have searched for on Google and that your website has shown up for in the past year. The list defaults to the most popular keywords, the one driving the most clicks, but chances are you're already ranking high for those already. So to really make the most of this list, you've got to filter it down. The quickest way to find some valuable keywords is to sort the list by the number of impressions. If you're using Google Sheets, highlight all the columns, then go to Data, Sort Ranged, Advanced Range Sorting option, and sort by column C, which is the impression column. Then tick that Z to A option. This nifty little trick will help you spot keywords that are already doing well on your site because they generate a ton of impressions and a fair amount of clicks. But if you optimize your content further for those keywords, you will rank higher and get even more traffic. Or you could find totally new keywords that have a ton of impressions that you never even thought of before and you're not even ranking for them. That's why you can create some new content on your site and attract even more visitors. That's it for today, folks. This should help you get a better idea of what your potential customers are searching for and how to create killer content that ranks well on Google for it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're hungry for more tips on how to rank on Google fast, check out the next video. Until next time, happy marketing.